Hello everyone, this is Ken at ScooterWorks, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the cow guards for the Genuine Buddy. So before we get started, let's make sure that we have all the hardware. Your kit should come complete with two complete side guards, a rubber filler piece, four 10 millimeter bolts, four flat washers, two short bushings, and two tall bushings. We don't need very many tools to install this, but the one tool that we need that's going to be important is a number three screwdriver, Phillips style. Um, the screws that are in the foot peg are a little bit larger than a standard number two, and they may strip if you use a number two. So I recommend a number three. We're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, and again, we're going to need the five millimeter Allen key. So now that we're sure we have all the hardware, we need to take a few pieces off to begin. So let's start by flipping the seat up. Just a little bit of room, and that's out of the way. We're going to remove the rack. You can slip it underneath if you want, but uh, I always find it easier to have the rack out of the way. So it's only a few nuts and bolts, so let's take it off out of the way. This acorn nut here on the top. All right, we'll remove this hardware, lift the rack away, set it on the side for right now. Next, we're going to remove the foot peg. We actually don't have to take the whole foot peg off, we just have to remove the screws because the kit comes with uh, new bolts and some spacers that need to go in these little pockets. So, with the number three Phillips, we're going to loosen it all the way up. screws out. There's one. And there's the other. So we're going to put this back in place and do the same thing on the other side. Now that the hardware is out of the way, we have these little collar bushings. You have two different styles. You have the tall ones and the short ones. So we're going to take one of the tall ones, drop it in the back slot, and we're going to take one of the short ones and drop it in the front. Then we're going to go and do the exact same thing to the other side. So for the next step, what we're going to do is I like to assemble the cowls off the bike. It makes it a little easier to handle and uh, it makes it easier for the adjustments. So the first thing that I always do is I take a little bit of WD-40, just get a small little spritz on the rubber cover, take it, slide it over, all the way over on the one side, and the, rubber, the uh, WD-40 helps it slide. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take two hammers, slide them together like so, and then we take the rubber and slide it back over. There we go. Try to get it as centered as you can, like so. Then I just take the rag, wipe off any of the WD-40 and hand parts. So the next step what we do is we take it we're going to set it over the bike. Like so. You wash your taillights, turn signals, set it on now. Okay. So what we're trying to do is these tabs here line up with the new spacers we put in. This is going to go to the same position that the rack goes to. And the other side also lines up in the same way. So I like to just throw a couple pieces of hardware in just to get them started. So that they don't fall off. They should stay in place, but you never know. Better be safe than sorry. So we just take them, line them up, start them by hand. It's always the best way to do it. Leave them loose until you have everything finally installed. You always want to leave stuff loose, so you, in case you have to adjust a little bit, move something to the left or the right, up or down. So we got those, so that's not going anywhere. This is lining up nicely. And then we're going to go do the same thing to the other side. So the next trick we have to do is set the rear rack back on. So make sure your hardware is back in place. You have your screws here. This can be a little bit tricky to get these guys to line up. And that's why I always leave everything loose so we can jockey it around a little bit to get it started. So I'm going to put this flat washer back on and I'm going to put the acorn nut back on. And we're just going to put it hand tight so we can move around. So sometimes you have to give them a little bit of a tug to get them into place. You see that one lined up pretty well. Okay. Let's 
started. And we move to the other side, we're going to do the same thing. So as you can see on this side, it will move outward. And you do want to leave a nice gap in there so that just in case you do bump it in the garage or if somebody does bump into it with another scooter, uh, it has room to give and move in without actually damaging the body. So like I said, I, I try to center them a little bit. So. Okay. And as you can see, Everything's nice and protected from tip overs or from people bumping into your bike. Blends in nicely with the rack. And there's your cowl guards.